So you want to know the galaxy. Don't mind my messy kitchen floor. This is where I work all the time. Um, I just have cheapo canvases from Michaels. Picked out all my colors. They're all ready to go. Get my plastic ready and my water bottle. So this is how I do my can or my galaxies. I'm gonna spray your hands down. I'm out of blue right now, so we're just gonna do a black and purple. Um, this is crow, so there will be a little sparkle here. Color on it randomly. Throw some lights in there. Really like pink in my galaxies. And I use I use a lot of Zia on everything. I really like kind of makes the cloud cloudiness once you get your press done. A little bit of white. All right, so right now it looks like a big mess. So another quick spritz. And this is just a piece of garbage bag cut. You want to make sure that there's no air bubbles in there because that will affect the design. Alright, so then just spread your spit out. So the trick to galaxies, I think, is um, it's going to look like a hot mess till it dries. So don't look at your wet project and be like, oh my god, I ruined it. Because um, it's going to look completely different once it's dry. Now, Michelle Nicole always puts a, something in the middle and pulls all the plastic up four corners so it all comes up evenly. I never do that. I always go to one side on a diagonal. Okay, so actually it looks pretty good right now, but I think that it needs some more dark color. I'm going to add just a little bit more because it doesn't really look like a galaxy right now. Although it's really pretty. So at this point you can either throw your plastic back on it and spread it out again or use your water bottle and just spray those spots to spread it out. That's another thing with my galaxies. I always use a ton of water, so they take forever to dry. I just got this new spray bottle. It's crazy, but I can change it to stream, so that works out great. Alright, 
So it's looking funky. <laughs> so now we got dark. I'm thinking more cloudiness. Just a little bit. And then you can go in and just blow. And spread some of that out. It's a big white spot right there that stayed kind of thick. Alright, I think that'll be cool. So then to add some stars, you put white on your fingertips and just kind of fling it. I will show you a picture of this on the top here in a minute. So we got that. And then my magic ingredient. I'm all out of the flake. But this is uh, powdered mica. This is what I use for my stars. I think it was like six or seven dollars for this can, but it's pretty big. And I've used it on tons of canvases, and they're still about half, half left. So I just take a pinch and sprinkle it on. This goes everywhere. It will be in your air. Your room will look like a snow globe. And it'll be all over your clothes and face and hands and hair. Just sparkly. Princess. Unicorn. what I'm talking about. And it sticks. So, this galaxy is done. Um, I will snap a pick. Once it's dry, I'm going to put a fan on it. Because I'm going to show you right now that it looks like a hot mess, but it's going to look completely different once it's dry. And then, like my picture, once the epoxy's on it, I mean, it just... Fama wood. It's insane the depth that it gives. I mean, in my pictures, I don't know if you can see it. I know you can't see it in pictures. Like, you have to see it in person. Like, it actually looks like you can stick your hand into the painting. Amazing. So, this is my quick video is done. I'm going to show you this real quick. And then, um, once it's dry, I'll snap a pic and add it all together in one post, hopefully. Let me turn the camera around here.